Well hello everybody, welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to make some shortbread thins. These are going to be hazelnut shortbread thins. So a nice thin crispy biscuit or cookie, uh, shortbread with some uh, hazelnuts in them. And I'm going to be using ground hazelnuts. If you can't get ground hazelnuts, you can take some whole hazelnuts and roast them in the oven until the aroma comes out. Um, cool them down then chop them as finely as you can and that will be good but I can buy uh, roasted ground hazelnuts so that's what I'm going to use. It's a very simple recipe but it takes a while because uh, once you've rolled out what is a very wet paste like uh, dough you have to chill it for an hour before you can cut the cookies out um, so it takes a little bit of time and I'll go straight on to the ingredients and for that I have 150 grams of plain flour which is one cup and that's based on scooping packed flour into a cup and levelling it off. I have 115 grams which is one cup plus two tablespoons of ground hazelnuts and you can see how finely ground mine are. I have uh, 80 grams which is half a cup of rice flour. If you don't have rice flour, you could use potato starch. You could potentially use corn flour as well, I think. Um, and I have uh, 68 gram. sorry. So uh, that's half a cup. So I have 68 grams of icing sugar, which is half a cup plus a tablespoon. I have a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and I have 150 grams of unsalted butter. That's 10 tablespoons and half a tablespoon and that's softened butter and so I'm going to do this by hand and with my hand mixer um, so I'm going to put the butter into my bowl with the icing sugar and I'm just going to cream that together until that's incorporated and um, I start it on slow obviously otherwise the icing sugar in fact I press down a little bit just to incorporate, a bit to incorporate the icing sugar a little bit this is only to prevent a cloud of sugar and so I mix that on a slow speed and then speed it up until it's all incorporated. good enough like that. So then I'm going to put in my rice flour. You could use ground rice as well of course. Um, I'll put in the salt and the hazelnuts and I'm just going to mix those around until they're combined. So they're nicely combined and as you see it's very easy and it could all have been done by hand very easily and the last thing to do is to add the flour and fold that in as well. You don't want to mix the, the flour with the hand mixer because you don't want to start activating and, uh, the gluten. Just press it into the mixture until it's all combined. 
and that's actually just about good enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tip that out onto a piece of parchment paper. And I'm going to use my hands to pull that together and incorporate any um, dry bits. And with that um, fairly nicely pulled together, I'm going to cover it with some more parchment paper. I'm just going to roll it out to about a quarter of an inch, five to six millimetres. to remove any wrinkles as I do it. And so I've rolled that out to a reasonably even thickness and what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put that on a baking tray and put it in the fridge and I'm going to chill it for an hour and then after an hour I'll come back and I'll cut out the shapes and you can use any shape you want any size you want and I'll cut those out then we'll preheat our oven and we'll bake them so I'll be back in an hour to cut out the shape. So I have um, chilled my dough for an hour and I'm going to cut it out in about three inch uh, cuts and what I'm going to do is having cut each one out I'm actually going to prick it with a fork and then put it onto the baking sheet And I'm going to put those back into the fridge and chill while I roll out the other ones, having uh, re-rolled the pastry. And then I'm going to chill those as well while I preheat my oven to uh, 180 Celsius. That's 160 Celsius with a fan, 350 Fahrenheit. And then uh, once that's ready, I'm going to uh, take them out of the fridge put them into the oven and I'm going to bake them for between 12 or 12 to 15 minutes until they've started to turn a nice brown colour and then I will take them out and let them cool down. Now the longer you bake them the crisper they will be so it's a matter of um, how you, you, you like your shortbread. If you want it very crisp you bake them slightly longer. If you want it uh, less crisp and more crumbly you bake them a little bit shorter so um, I'll be back with you once I've baked these and let them cool down and we'll have a taste so I baked uh, the hazelnut shortbread thins for 15 minutes they coloured up nicely I took them out and allowed them to cool for about five minutes on the tray and then transferred them to a wire rack and this is what they look like <coughs> So I actually got 20 out of mine. I could have got a, another one if I'd have rolled the, the final piece of pastry another time. Um, but they've turned out very nicely. So I'll have a taste of one. Very light, 
textured that almost melt in the mouth um, but they've got that little bit of crunch to them and a lovely flavour that hazelnut really does come through and a, a bit of sweetness comes through as well these are really delicious I have to say I could quite easily eat the whole lot so that's going to be it for this recipe I hope you've enjoyed it and if you have please give me the thumbs up below the video and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the top right hand corner of the screen there will be an eye that you can click on and that will take you to this recipe and I'll put a link for it below the video as well and I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future so until then happy baking <music>